if this is the first time you're joining us, and welcome back if it isn't. I'm John, and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. I've been asked by one of my subscribers, Tom STC, if I can do a tutorial on how to make text appear from behind an object. It's a great effect and it's really worth doing. It works out really... So sorry, <laughs> that's my phone, I must have forgot to turn it off. One second. Hello? Pizza delivery. Already? Yeah. Where are you? I'm at the gate. By the gate? I'll come and get you. Sorry, my pizza's come. <laughs> Right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Just... On your chin. So, as I was saying, this is how to make text appear from behind an object. Like I said, it's a great effect, so let's jump into Filmora and see how it works. I'll have the rest of my pizza later. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is text appearing from behind a driving car. So, I've found a piece of footage. I'll drag that onto the timeline. I'll just make it the full width so we can see what's going on. First thing I want to do is duplicate this clip. And I do that simply by holding the Alt key on my keyboard, clicking and holding the clip and dragging it up. And I'll do it one more time because I want a space in the middle. I'll delete that one in the middle. I want to put some text there. So I'll hide the top track so I can see the text. I'll go to the titles and I'll just use the default title. So, if we search for default, and drag that down into the second track, so it's sandwiched between the two tracks. Don't forget, I've got the top one hidden. I'll make that the same length. Also what I wanna do, is I want this car to be on the other side. So the way I do that is I'll unhide the top track, click on it, and if we go to video, and basic, what we can do is flip it there. Because in the UK, we drive on the left hand side. So I'll do the same for the bottom one. I'll hide the top track, show the bottom one, and I'll flip that as well. Okay. So now the text, I want the text to say something like, Ah, oh, driving holiday. I'm going to make it, I don't know, about, say, 72. I'll change it to Aerial Rounded Bold, that's a good font. And it's still a little bit big, so I'll drop that down again to around about, say, 64. And I'll make it stand out a little bit just by doing a preset color on it. Maybe that one. Now, what I want this to do is to be hiding behind the car while it's driving and then go from right to left, so it comes out from behind the car and goes across. So let's go to the beginning of the text and we need to use a keyframe to do this. So if we go to the basic tab again and we click on the position keyframe down there and I want to drag this off to the right hand side just behind or just to the right of where the edge of the card is. Then I go to the end of the text I do another keyframe and I'll move the position right away across to the other side and I'll do that just purely by clicking and dragging and dragging my mouse across or you can just do it by adding a number in as long as you know what the number is this is about 1215 so if you click and drag that that's an easy way of doing it okay so now if we look at that from the beginning you'll see that the text comes out from behind the car but it's currently in front of the car. We want it to be behind the car. So what we need to do there, go back to the beginning, is we need to unhide the top track now and we'll use a mask to do this. And if you click on video mask and then choose the draw mask tool is the best way to do it because you can get around all the little edges easier. We know the text is gonna be about here. So if I start the mask about here, I'll just click on some edges you can zoom in, but I can see this edge quite well. It's not too bad. I'll just click a few points here, down to maybe the door handle, and then I'll go across and come off the screen, 
because the text is going to come from right behind the car there and then join it back up again and that makes the full mask so now if we play it you see the text come out from behind how easy was that and how good does it look and there you go so I hope you're happy with that one The next one I want to show you is text going in between two objects. So for this one, I found a piece of stock media, which is the Tower Bridge in London. So I'll drag that to the timeline. I'll make that full width again. Again, I'll duplicate this clip, alt and drag it up. And I'll drag that up to the third layer again, because we want to put text in the middle. So if we click on titles, and again, we go for the default title. and drag that down in between the two clips. It's like a sandwich effect. I'll make that the same width as the clips. And I'll just hide the top clip for now so that we can see the text. And I'll just call that Tower Bridge, London, UK. And again, it's a bit big, so I'll make that a bit smaller. I'll go to maybe 62. I'll change it again to the aerial rounded, aerial rounded bold, sorry. I will also put a preset on it. Right, what I want to do now is I want to make this text appear from behind that tower. So the first thing I need to do is make sure the wording starts just in front of that tower there, because we'll be creating a mask to hide that behind the tower and it will move out from behind there. Again, the way to do that, we go to the beginning of the text, we create a keyframe, we then go to the end of the text, we create another keyframe, and we move the text right the way over, as far as you want. I'm gonna take it fully off the screen, like so. So now, if we drag the playhead back and play it, you see it moves. It's moving rather slow. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this clip a lot shorter. I'll just do it for about, say about 10 seconds. And again, I'll make the top one about 10 seconds. I need to move this keyframe right the way down there. And I'll also shorten the clip as well. So I'll shorten that clip and I'll move that keyframe back out to the very end. So the top track's still hidden. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, that works better, it looks faster, that's better. Okay, I'll unhide the top track, but I'm now going to hide the bottom track because I want to create a mask on the top track. And the way we do that is we click on the track, make sure we're at the beginning, go to the video tab, mask, and we'll use a linear single line mask. What we need to do is drag that over to approximately where the tower is and rotate it. We can drag the handle there. If it's not fine enough, which it isn't there, we can also use the rotation on the actual properties panel. And again, if you just drag your mouse cursor, you get it roughly to where it is. That doesn't look too bad. So let's just unhide the bottom track, play that, see what it looks like. And there we go. How easy was that? So I hope you enjoyed that one as well. And the last one I want to show you is rising text out of water. So let's jump back into Filmora. I found a piece of stock media that would be great for this. Drag that down. Okay, I'll put it on the bottom track. I've already got two extra tracks there. If you haven't, let me just show you. Let me just hide them. If you haven't and it just looks like that, I'll show you what you can do. We need to duplicate this track by holding the Alt key on the keyboard, click and holding and dragging up. That makes an extra track. And doing the same again, dragging up further. That creates three tracks. And I want the middle track to be empty because I want to put text in there. So click on that and press the delete key. Now we don't need all of this, so um, I didn't have to do that just yet, but it doesn't matter. Um, what I can do now is just shrink this down to the piece that I wanted to use. 
maybe where the water just starts to fade away there would be good. Mm, yeah, about yeah, about there. Okay, so I'll drag the top track down. And I'll drag the bottom track down as well to match. I'll just expand that so it fits the screen so we can see what's going on. Now again, I want to put text in between. So I'll go to the titles, make sure you're on recommended. And again, search for default. Drag the default text down in between the two layers and make it the same length. Now I'm going to hide the top track so we can see the text. And I'm going to call that the power of the sea. All in capitals. There we go, the power of the sea. Bit big, so again, we'll shrink that down to maybe, say 68, looks quite good. We'll give it a preset effect again. Make it look a bit like water. That's quite nice. That looks the same color as the water and the sky, so that will do. Now what we need to do is drag this down to just under where the waves are because I want that to rise up behind the waves. So what we need to do now is add a keyframe. Make sure you're at the start of the text. We'll add a keyframe on the position. We'll go to the end of the text. We'll add another keyframe. That, that's gone black at the back because you can see here the text is just a little bit longer than the other two clips. So simply just drag that back there. There we go. So add the, a second keyframe and we want to make that rise out to the sea to about there. So now when we go to the start of the clip and play it, we can see it's rising out of the sea. But we want it to rise out of the sea behind these waves. So what we need to do is unhide the top track, click on it, go to AI tools and choose smart cutout. Click on smart cutout. Again, make sure you're at the beginning of the clip. And I'm just going to paint across this wave here. I'm going to make the brush a bit bigger just to make it easier. So I shall start there, just go across the top approximately. I'll go down the side, along the bottom. This may or may not pick up all the waves. Let's see how it does. That's not too bad, there's still a bit left there. So again, you can just repaint over that bit. And again at the bottom, I'll go right along the bottom. There's a few bits there. Although that wouldn't have mattered because the text didn't go that low. That seems covered now. So we click on Start Smart Cutout. Okay, let's just play that, see what it looks like while it's still on the same screen. Yeah, that was quite good. Picked it up quite well actually, I'm pleased with that. There's a little bit there, but that's fine. Let's just save that and see how it looks. Now the track is unhidden, so when we play this, the text should come out of the water. Brilliant. What I want to do is add a fade effect to that text, so as it comes out, it fades in. So let's click on the clip, click on video animation, that's where the fade in and out are. Click on fade in and drag it down to the text. Now that point there is at the very start and this is where the start to fade. So let's just take it to about there, see what that looks like. Go to the end and play it. Yeah, that worked really well, so I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed those three little tutorials on how to make text appear from behind objects. I'd appreciate it if you checked out my other videos and don't forget about the free £50 monthly giveaway.